Hello dear Capricorns, this is a video for all Capricorn rising sun or moon viewers. Welcome, this is Core from Core Astrology. Today I'm going to be chatting with you about the full moon in Virgo happening on the 9th of March. So this full moon is happening for you in an area in your life that is all related, related to matters concerning overseas, foreigners, traveling overseas, um, belief systems, philosophies, counselors, and also legal matters. Now, what has happened for you in January of this year, of course, you had this massive transformation in your life beginning when Saturn and Pluto was occurring in your, in your sign, demanding big changes in your life, in your persona, and how you exist in this world. Very big changes happened to, uh, for you, endings of um, a kind of sense of security and attachments to maybe fear-based ways of living a lifestyle which has now come to an end and there's these very big new beginnings that have happened and with this full moon the focus is very much related to foreign and overseas matters. Now Virgo is an earth sign and it likes to consider doing things in a very detailed matter whereby it um, likes to schedule and organize things and want to know every last little detail and this is the energy that is slightly challenging you on this full moon because the full moon is always when there is a sense of culmination or things coming to a head and with you there certainly are around matters related to your belief systems about matters related to the foreign and the overseas and any counselors or advisors that are helping you any lawyers or work with lawyers any anyone who's a guru um, who's assisting you in matters is coming to a head and ultimately what is happening is that Mercury went retrograde in the sign of Pisces round about the 17th of February and it stays there until the 10th of March and at the same time, the sun went into Pisces on the 19th of February, two days after Mercury went retrograde, where it stays until the 20th of March. And what this is highlighting for you in your life, dear Capricorns, is all matters related to siblings and to neighbors and your immediate environment, as well as your thoughts and your thinking, your writing, your co commercial activities, writing letters, emails, all that sort of thing. And while Mercury is retrograde in this area, you might be reviewing things and feeling a bit confused and renegotiating, reinventing, reflecting um, as Mercury is going up and down, reflecting matters about siblings, about how you communicate, how you think, how you write, etc. And at the time of the full moon, the sun is in this area too, and it is conjunct a planet called Neptune, and Neptune is the planet of faith and trust, and being boundaryless, realizing that you are divine and perfect, and that there's a sense of um, expansiveness related to spirituality, romanticism, art, music, anything to do with imagination. It's about being a visionary and currently it's activating you to have thoughts that are incredibly visionary and probably slightly confusing because the matters related to your belief system and, and matters related to foreign are seeking details and practicalities and yet your mind and your thinking or matters related to siblings and your day-to-day -day communications are very dreamlike and they're all about having imagination. Your, th your thoughts are full of imagination and full of dreams and as a matter of fact we need dreams to create our reality, right? Albert Einstein says imagination is more important than knowledge for knowledge is limited Whereas imagination embraces the entire world, stimulating progress and giving birth to evolution. And this is what, what is happening with you. Your thought processes are evolving 
and matters related to foreign and overseas and lawyers or gurus or counselors or people helping you or anything related to, uh, to, to studying at university is demanding for you to be like a realist and practical. And yet imagination and faith and um, trusting in God and believing in perfection and divinity and having visions is exactly the opposite of being detailed and practical. And this is what will be highlighted for you at this full moon. And also I'd like to give you two more quotes to think about because you might feel uncomfortable with this new way of thinking visionary and you might want to fall back into old habits. However, to evolve, it is important to pray and believe in the divine and have the sense of connection to, to spirit and imagination. So here Dan Lark writes, and quotes, live your life as if all your dreams have come true and then challenge your reality to catch up. So for you, your reality catch up is all the matters related to where the full moon is, which is in all these foreign matters and higher education and belief systems and advisors and counselors. Um, they are the challenge that needs to catch up with actually knowing that your dreams are already true. Also in the Bible, Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And this is all about the power of belief. And this is what you've been called to on this full moon to experience. And with that, it allows you the progress of this new person that you've become after the January event of letting go of this old version of who you are. It's going to allow you and give you the inspiration to move forward as a more evolved person. And um, also helping you along is the planet Uranus, which entered your this area of your life about five months or six months ago, So, which talks about how you express yourself creatively. It's how you give love to other people. It is where you are a lover. It is where you um, want to have children. This is where, because children are a very creative process. It relates to children. It relates to having fun and entertainment and just giving of yourself. So you'll be doing this in a very new way and you have been doing it in the last couple of months in a very new way. And there'll be a lot of support from specifically females or matters related to art and beauty because Venus is right next to Uranus at the time of this full moon and Venus rules art, beauty, all the things related to sensuality, romance, jewelry, relationships with people. Venus is fe fe feminine, female energy. So there's something about like exciting feminine energy that comes through or exciting liberating energy relationship relating to art and the beautiful things in your life that will allow you to to bring in the people into your life that um, will culminate into this destiny of new friends that you might have where you can express yourself in this way and this less limited practical vision about matters related to overseas because it'll be infused with your imagination. So dear Capricorns, I hope for you, um, I think, did I mention that on the 10th of March, um, Mercury goes direct. So all the matters related to your thinking and the visions and the images that you have and sort of the things dissolving around your neighborhood or siblings or paperwork or thinking that is asking you to be more visionary Mercury goes direct on the 10th of March, so you'll start seeing a lot more clearer how to implement these new dreams and visualizations that you've experienced during the full moon. So dear Capricorns, I wanted to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. My intention is to self-empower people who watch the videos so that they can be more self-tolerant, self-accepting and have more self-love for themselves. Um, 
If you want to know anything more about the services like my astrological consulting or the workshops that I offer, please have a look at the link below. There's a beautiful workshop, a soul collage workshop I'll be doing end of August and another lovely one together with Marguerite on the basics of astrology that we'll be hosting at the Ecopa Resort, a Buddhist retreat resort in Natal, which has been rated as one of the most 10 beautiful meditation centers in the world. So I'll put a link for that down below as well. Thank you for your time. Be blessed. Take care. Lots of love. Bye for now.